The head of Malaysia's largest political party, Amno, is crying foul over corruption charges against him. President Ahmad Zaid Hamidi says he and other politicians have become the target of politically motivated and selective prosecution. He's on trial for 47 charges of alleged criminal breach of trust, money laundering, and bribery involving more than $11.6 million. Ahmad Zaid Hamidi told the court that a complaint to Malaysia's anti-graft agency was swiftly filed after his coalition, Barisan Nasional, lost the 2018 general election. He says following the change of government, leaders from his coalition were charged, while ruling Pakatan Harapan politicians were released from criminal cases. Ahmad Zaid and 20 other UMNO leaders, including Najib Raza, were taken to court for various offences. Afifa Arifin joins us live now from Kuala Lumpur. Uh, Afifa, has Ahmad Zaid Hamidi been able to substantiate or back his accusations of uh, political persecution? Well, today's AMNO President Ahmad Zaid Hamidi's 16th day as the wit on the witness stand, testifying as the first witness in his own defence against 47 criminal charges. So today in court, Zaid Hamidi insisted that he faced politically motivated prosecution after Barisan Nasional lost in the last elections in 2018. He said that following the loss, the Anti-Corruption Bureau charged him and other members of Barisan Nasional. But meanwhile, he alleges that, the, that those under the new government, the Pakatan Harapan government were released from their criminal cases. Now, Zahid was charged back in October 2018 and his court cases continues with dozens of witnesses called to the stand. In this particular trial, Zahid, who was the former Deputy Prime Minister at that time, is facing 12 counts of criminal breach of trust in relation to 31 million ringgit worth of funds with charitable foundation Yayasan Akal Budi. Another 27 counts of money laundering and 8 charges of bribery um, over more than 20 21 million ringgit of alleged bribes. And today's hearing, however, uh, ended in court uh, very early once again after Zahid said that he was unwell and asked for uh, the judges to resume the trial tomorrow morning and that he will go back on uh, to testify as the first witness. Now, the judge had allowed this, and so we will see that trial continue on Tuesday. Well, there's certainly been a flurry of political activity in Malaysia in recent days. Is the pressure growing for Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob to uh, dissolve parliament and call for the next election? Right, so there were a lot of political developments in Malaysia last week, which we were following, you know, from former Prime Minister Najib Razak being sent to jail to the change in budget dates being brought forward from the 28th of October uh, to the 7th of October. And all of these, according to observers, are indications that a general election uh, could be around the corner. And so political parties sort of began their unofficial campaigning by holding uh, special sessions, by holding conventions. We saw four major political gatherings on Saturday across the Klang Valley, from AMNO uh, to PKR, Prikata National Coalition, as well as well as Gerakan Tanah Air. And so, observers say this shows that parties are really seeing the urgency in terms of being able to mobilize their grassroots, as well as in terms of strategizing their election plans. Um, I spoke with some analysts earlier today on what this means for Prime Minister Ismail Sabri, who, as we know, is facing increasing pressure from within his own party, AMNO. And just how soon can Malaysia expect a general election to be called? It was loud and clear as calls to dissolve parliament rang through the halls of the World Trade Center in Kuala Lumpur. There's no doubt UMNO wants an election to be held as soon as possible. But at that emotionally charged UMNO gathering to show solidarity for former President and Premier Najib Razak in prison, Prime Minister Ismail Sabri, a vice president of the party, was nowhere in sight. Only he can seek the king's consent to dissolve parliament. But despite all the pressure from the grassroots and party leadership, all the prime minister could say is wait. The Abno gathering over the weekend, the primary aim was, of course, to uh, publicly uh, pressure him into uh, holding an election sooner, right? Abno, of course, uh, could threaten him with uh, many things. Uh, for example, there were rumours of uh, expelling him from the party, of uh, at least a uh, majority of Abno members uh, of parliament uh, withdrawing their support and so on. But as long as uh, Ismail Sabri uh, holds on to uh, parliamentary support from 
from the, the Pakatan Harapan as well as Perikatan National, he could still remain Prime Minister until the end of his term. A change in the budget date, which was brought forward three weeks earlier to October 7th, has further fueled rumours that an election could be held any time soon. This is one uh, indication that uh, election could be, for example, before the end of the year, such that uh, budget could be announced and then the various uh, measures which are usually considered uh, goodies before the election could be announced and so on, right? And therefore, hopefully, the voters will have a better feeling towards uh, the ruling party and therefore vote for Amno more overwhelmingly. And so, political parties across the spectrum are not taking any chances. Over the weekend, four major political gatherings were held across the Klang Valley. This signals a turbocharging um, of sorts um, in the lead up to a potential uh, election um, soon. So I suppose the political parties do not want to be caught off guard and um, is ramping up preparations ahead of this potential um, general election. All parties are now making sure that there is solidarity within the um, leadership of indig individual parties. Amid this highly charged political climate, some observers speculate that parliament could be dissolved soon after the budget is tabled in October. The next window, analysts say, would be next year, after the year-end monsoon clears out. Malaysia's current parliamentary term ends in July 2023, and a general election must be held by September. Afifa Arafin, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.